because you were afraid they could kill them. Let's give Vice President Pence a chance to respond. Vice no, President Pence, you have one minute to respond. You know, there's not a day gone. On multiple line. occasions when you were running for president that you would ban fracking. Industry, and you voted against it. So let's set the record straight. Thank you. Yeah. I'd like to talk about a quick segue to a new topic, which is climate change. And Vice President Pence, I'd like to pose the first question to you. The American Pence, people deserve I didn't, to know. Uh, there, Vice President Pence, I did not, the, excuse me, Susan, I did not create the rules for tonight. Joe Biden. You, you, your Tom, camp, Tom, campaigns Tom, agreed to the rules for tonight's I, debate I, with I, the Commission on President For criminal justice reform. Thank you, Vice President Pence. We fought Pence. for educational choice and opportunities for African Americans, all of our members. Thank you, sir. And we'll do it for four Thank minutes. you. You know, there is no more important issue. For the question. No, Mr. Yes, Vice President, I'm please, speaking. I'm speaking. In and take a look at some of the many, many people that we owe a huge debt of gratitude. Before the end of this year. The reality is when you look at the Biden plan, it reads an awful lot like what President Trump and I and our task force have been doing every step of the way. I mean, quite frankly, when I look at their plan that talks about advancing testing, creating new PPE, developing a vaccine. Um, it looks a little bit like plagiarism, which is something Joe Biden knows a little bit about. And I think the American people know that this. If the Trump administration approves a vaccine before or after the election, should Americans take it and would you take it? If the public health professionals, if Dr. Fauci, if the doctors, tell us that we should take it, I'll be the first in line to take it, absolutely. But if Donald Trump tells us I should that we should take it, I'm not taking it. Vice President Pence, there have been a lot of repercussions. from The right to life. When you speak about the Supreme Court, though, I think the American people really deserve an answer, Senator Harris. Are you and Joe Biden going to pack the court if Judge Amy Coney Barrett is confirmed? I mean, there have been 29 vacancies on the Supreme Court during presidential election years from George Washington to Barack Obama. Presidents have nominated in all 29 cases. But your party is actually openly advocating adding seats to the Supreme Court, which has had nine seats for 150 years, if you don't get your way. This is a class. Yeah, Thank let's you. talk about packing the court then. Let's talk about the Please. pack. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to. So the Trump-Pence administration has been, because I sit on the Senate Judiciary Committee, Susan, as you mentioned, and I've witnessed the appointments for lifetime appointments to the federal courts, district courts, courts of appeal. People who are purely ideological, people who have been reviewed. This, this, this presumption that you hear consistently uh, from Joe Biden and Kamala Harris that, uh, that America is systemically racist, mm -hmm. and that, as Joe Biden said, that he believes that law enforcement has an implicit bias against minorities is, is a great insult to the men and women who serve in law enforcement. And I want everyone to know who puts on. And so Joe believes, again, in science. I'll tell you something, Susan. I served when I first got to the Senate on the committee that's responsible for the environment. Do you know this administration took the word science off the website and then took the phrase climate change off the website? This, we have seen a pattern with this administration, which is they don't believe in science. And Joe's plan is about saying we're going to deal with it, but we're also going to create jobs. 